Happy Wednesday everyone. Today's story is Mr. Silly. Mr. Silly lives in Nonsense Land, which is a very funny place to live. You see, Nonsense Land, everything is as silly as can be. In Nonsense Land, the trees are red and the grass is blue. Isn't that silly? In Nonsense Land, dog wear hats. And do you know how birds fly in Nonsense Land? No, they don't. They fly forwards. They fly backwards. It really is a very silly place indeed, which of course is why Mr. Silly lives there. Mr. Silly is in fact, he lives in quite the silliest looking house and you never have seen it before in your whole life. Have you ever seen a sillier looking house than that? Now, that particular story is all about the Nonsense Cup. You see, in Nonsense Land, each year they hold a competition and the cup is an awarded to whoever has the silliest idea of the year. Mr. Sully had never worn the cup, but each night lying in his bed, he dreamed about winning it. In order to win the Nonsense Cup, Mr. Sully realised that he would have to think up something remarkably silly. He pondered over the problem one morning at breakfast. Incidentally, you may have been interested to know that Mr. Silly was having breakfast. What was he having? He was having a cup of coffee, which he put a spoonful of marmalade into. After that, he had cornflake sandwich, and to finish, he had a boiled egg. But being Mr. Silly, he ate the shell as well. Isn't that a silly breakfast? Anyway, this particular breakfast time, Mr. Silly was thinking how to win that cup. He remembered two years ago, the cup was won by Mr. Ridiculous. He won by wallpapering his house, which sounds very ordinary, but in fact, Mr. Ridiculous had wallpapered the outside of his house. And Mr. Silly remembered last year when Mr. Foolish won the cup. Mr. Foolish was a friend of Mr. Silly's. He had won the cup by inventing a car. It was a very quite normal car, apart from one thing. It had square wheels. Isn't that silly? Mr. Silly thought and thought and thought, but it was no good. He even had another cup of coffee with marmalade, but that didn't help either. So he decided to take a walk. Off he went, leaving his front door open so that he wouldn't have burglars when he was out. On his walk, Mr. S sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 